Since Final Cut Pro 10 came out, the resounding cry has been, where is multicam? My question is, why would you want it back? I'm going to start with a new project here. And and I want this project to be 1080, so the first clip I'm going to drag in is this 1080 clip. And then I'm going to drag in my other clips that I want to use. Let's just drag them on the timeline right now. probably good enough. Okay. This is a 1080p project. A frame rate of 29.97. That was based on the first clip I brought in. This is a photo JPEG codec. Photo JPEG codec. This is a 60i 1080 clip. It's in ProRes 422 HQ. This is a 2398 frame rate with an H.264 and this one will be the same. Uh, these two clips were taken in Dubai by a friend of mine, Blake Gardner, and he has graciously uh, allowed me to use them. Let's just bring these out some. I'm going to pretend these two clips are a camera. And I'll pretend this one is also another camera. Okay. I'm going to scale down the clip size so I can manage this a little better. And I'm going to select all the clips. I'm going to go to the transform and scale them all to 50%. And click on the transform icon here and drag these up to... I'm going to drag this one up to the upper corner. Drag this down a little bit. I'm going to command click on that clip and drag this one over to here. Command select this line out. Drag this down to here. Actually, I want this one over here. Yeah, which one am I forgetting? This one. There we go. Okay, now I have all four of my clips set up in the timeline. I'm going to, for this example, I'm just going to detach this audio because this is the audio I want throughout the entire clip. And I'll detach the, select all of these clips and detach their audio as well. Yeah, one at a time. There's no audio on that one. 
no audio on that one, and this one. And I'm just going to delete those. So. Okay. Send this out a little bit. Make a little bit more room and start making cuts. Now I can use Command B to use the blade tool and it should cut just the clip on the main storyline. Make a cut there. 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 Now I'll use the arrow keys to maneuver here. And I'm going to select the clip on the top of that. And everywhere there's a cut, whoops, I'll make a cut on that one. And the top one. Okay, obviously this clip is going to have to fill this position in the storyline. Just going to delete the unused portions. And command option down arrow. And it replaced this section in main clip. Okay, you see that this video here drops out. This one picks up. Okay, I'm take out this and drop it down. Command option down arrow. I'm not going to use this section. Choose the waterfall for this one. We've already used the building here. These don't need to be used. Haven't used the kayaking one yet, so we'll drop that one down. And we'll end up with the musicians again, so all the rest of these are unneeded. Now I'll select all my clips again. Go back to transform, click this reset button. Now let's play through this. done something here very quickly that could not be done in multicam at all. Mainly because all of these are different frame rates, different codecs, and different frame sizes. And Final Cut Pro 10 has just put them all together seamlessly. Now if I need to go in and trim the positions a little bit, I can do that. And I haven't disturbed the audio sync. I mean, 
mean, this is just so fluid and flawless. And to finish all of this up, I'll just go ahead, select everything, right click, make new compound clip. I may be mistaken, but I think that was quite a lot easier than dealing with the multicam setup of the former versions of Final Cut Pro. And I used video from different format cameras, different codec cameras, all in one place, all at once. And it, I did this in real time, so you saw how long it took. It didn't take hardly any time at all. I'd like to thank Blake Gardner for his permission to use the video from uh, his trip in Dubai. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope this helps.